hi guys welcome to amsterdam i just flew in from egypt uh this morning and right now it is going on 5 p.m so i'm in my hotel this is the motel one water lupin location the motel ones are one of my favorite like three star chains in europe i think they also have a few in amsterdam for sure and then germany i'm not sure where else but i don't know it's like a really affordable place and of course it's really clean which i which is <laughs> the most important thing to me it needs to be clean i mean i love a five-star hotel but if i can get like a clean affordable hotel that has what i want i'm good with that too so i really like this particular hotel and it has a really nice body wash it smells so good uh let me show it to you actually it is just like a mint body wash but it smells so good and i haven't been able to find it anywhere else they do sell it at the hotel but unfortunately i only packed a carry-on so can't bring it back because as you can see it's quite large so that is unfortunate um the plan for uh, this video is to do a little bit of a vlog style slash what i spend in a day because i'm only going to be in amsterdam for one day i'm going to be leaving tomorrow so tomorrow at 3 3 25 p.m i'll be heading back to america so i don't have much time to do what i plan to do today is sunday and a lot of the stores are closed i had wanted to go to chanel to check out the new launch for fall and winter but i won't be able to do that and then i wanted to get my suitcase repaired so i have a rumoa suitcase and they do do repairs that's like a lifetime guarantee other suitcases so the wheels don't run as smoothly as they used to so i wanted to get that fixed and the rumoas are usually in like major cities which i don't live in so i have to do it when i'm traveling but anyway the rumoa is closed so i want to be able to go there either so what i do plan to do is to go to the Anne Frank house so we're gonna see that finally I booked tickets a month out it does take that far out for you to be able to book tickets and they go pretty fast so keep that in mind and then I want to go to Diptyque to grab some candles because I do get the VAT refund since I'll be leaving the EU tomorrow and then otherwise we're just gonna walk around and take a look at Amsterdam this is my second time here and Amsterdam is one of my favorite cities in fact I really enjoy the Netherlands in general the people are just like really chill and it's a very diverse here in particular so i'm looking forward to hanging out and of course it's very picturesque like you know it's like built on canals or whatever so it just looks really nice so we are going to do those things and basically walk around because i am near to everything that i need to be at so that's nice so we'll get some sightseeing in and that'll be fun and i'll take you guys along with me
let's see it is 7 42 i just had some dinner at that vegan burger <laughs> vegan burger place it was really tasty and then i stopped at the supermarket to grab some water for tonight through tomorrow morning and i'm waiting to see about the ad frank house like my ticket time is 8 15 to 8 30 but like i am freezing and i'm tired uh, let's see it's like 55 degrees and i just had this light jacket and a t-shirt on so that is not what's up i'm gonna walk down here and see i see a bunch of people like crowding the streets so that's never a good sign but uh we'll see if we can get in early or if i have to wait until my ticket time just got back to my hotel after a 30 minute walk <laughs> like i've walked a ton in the last few hours so i just finished up at the anne frank house which was very touching i'm not sure that i fully like knew the depth of the anne frank story that or i like forgot it because i learned about it like years ago but the museum where the house is like well laid out and um it's an audio guided tour so as you go through the house where anne frank was hiding they like talk about her story and what was happening okay so my camera Stop recording because I have too many videos on my iPhone, which is a problem. Unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to get a new phone with more storage, which is another cost, but we'll deal with that at another time. Uh, okay, so as I was saying, when you're in the house, they talk about what's happening in Nazi-occupied Netherlands at the time, as well as history about that particular moment in time in terms of concentration camps and like all of those things. So it's just a very, I mean, the story is like touching clearly, just uh, for a young child like Anne Frank was able to express uh and recount what was happening very well so it's just like you feel almost like you're there with her and are feeling what she's feeling so it's just very moving in that way and of course there are lessons to be learned about life and humanity with the entire story so it's a uh, beautiful experience and i definitely recommend it to anyone that happens to be in the amsterdam area anytime soon so after i finished that i ended up walking home i may have mentioned it already <laughs> like i had to walk 30 minutes and i've been walking around since i got to the hotel so i am very exhausted but uh, I did film a clip of me being in the teak and I got a few candles so I wanted to show you guys what those were. Alright, so this is our haul. First up we have Ben Join. I cannot pronounce these things guys and the words are like, they're not really jumbled. They're like in order but <laughs> I have borderline dyslexia so I'll put the name there and the scent notes. So we got that one. And I think this is a receipt for, um, yes, this is a receipt for the candles. I spent 224 euros on these candles. I think they were like about 50 bucks a piece. So quite expensive. This is a figure. And next up we have Bays, which is an all time favorite. I get this every year. Then, new to me, eucalyptus. I love eucalyptus, and I have on been unable to find that scent replicated in a candle, so I'm excited to burn this. It smells good in the store, but you know, it was a cold sniff, um, so should be good. And then she gave me a free sample candle, and this is a tuberose, so I'm excited to burn my candles because it's gonna be winter time and we're gonna be all snowed in so it's gonna be good to vibe out with those and then this is my water i spent a dollar 24 on a bottle of water and then this is my tax refund info so that is it guys plan for the rest of the night is just to pass out 
and i'm probably gonna have an early morning tomorrow but i don't have to be at the airport like i said to like 3 25 so i might be able to do a few things before then if i do i will catch you guys up of course